No boy can buy your company. No people vibe score tell me the post of his wife singing to that song without money and his caption for that was it's easy to sing without money when spending my money and you can see a bag of emojis at the end. Now people the text would suggest that vibe score tell is saying that the only reason why him wife married to him is because he has money but then again people vibe score tell did not say that and you know vibe score tell can trick the crowd. Anyhow people I went into the comment section where I saw this specific comment where somebody commented and said shorty never believe believe teacher a forward a road shorty turn her back on the killer vibes cartel then replied to that person and say at any time now so vibes cartel is saying that at any time now him can touch road he will be a free man what people you notice vibes cartel never this that person or disagree with what that person is saying about charity that would suggest that Vibes Cartel agree, say Shati turn her back on him. Well, people, I am not saying that Vibes Cartel said that again, but based on all the texts ago, me I wonder what really I go on right I say, you know. And people, since we're on the topic of Vibes Cartel, Vibes Cartel's lawyer, Isaac Buchanan, recently did a video in which he stated that he visited Vibes Cartel and the artist was in high spirits. So yesterday I went to visit um, Vibes and he is excited, he's elated. He no longer has that 35 years on his above his head or or that life sentence or the conviction. So he's, he's now just anticipating his day so he can deal with his health and get back to freedom. And people, as usual, do remember to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the notification bell, and Jamaica always a keeper, so make we go see what go on. Now people check this out, this one is very serious, there is a viral video circulating the internet making waves on social media with everyone giving their own opinion. Now people there was a police shooting and people when we say police shooting the police actually did the shooting but unknowingly to the police officers there were cameras there capturing everything. Now people because I want to board up place you know I want to get a place. Yeah, be a board house today. So the police, them not expect that there was cameras. Any of people, the police, them go up on an operation. Them go fear, man. I don't know if it was a wanted, man. But them go up on an operation based on intel. Now, people, within the video, you can see the police, them actually apprehend the man. Have him hand back on him head. Everything. And guess what? The police, them just scared the man back at the house. Then you hear explosion. Now, people, the police version of the story is totally different. People, the police, them never know the camera was there recording them, you know. The police, them, their statement was that when them go for the man, them, you know, heavy gunfire, bad man roll out, be a gunfire. And uh, I saw them end up kill the man. But in the video, you can see the police, them literally apprehend the man. Have him hand back on him head. Them could have put on handcuff on him. And, you know, them, them claim say them take a gun off of the man. Then again, people, because of the video, them I wonder if the police, them really even take a gun off of the youth. Jaja, ja. now when you look serious, because as me as a people, you can see everything in the video. You can see say, the police, them happy and the man, the man now put up no fight, nothing like that. But because it's a local board of place and the people, them, them never know, say, Technology is so prevalent nowadays that everybody can have camera in them yard. Now people may wonder what go really go on right here so. What go happen right here so because the police statement is that them come under heavy gunfire you know hearing one gunshot a year when them carry the man back at the blow. Shell out the man so people. I am not a lawyer or anything. I am not in the com, but do tell me your thoughts on this in the comment section. Man who was seemingly instructed to kneel. He was taken outside his premises and then <laughs> the sound of a gunshot. Me don't want to hear nothing from nobody. Nobody can't tell me nothing. These are my views by everything. Oi, you can't be prime minister and have your wife and be speaker of house. That means uh, you are thief things and your wife are thief things and nobody else can get no chance to thief nothing. Fuck you with that. You Hamilton. Then fire you, take your blood clot out of parliament, oh yes enough. You look like a when time fly, take shit, you fucker you. Eee. You remember when you could have gone in a parliament, go go sit down and chat off your mouth. No, then don't want you in there, your time up, leave. Your time fucking up, leave. Mr. Mr. Mark Golden, make a valid point. 
You, the Prime Minister, is a little fuck up. You and your wife not together. And you behave like, say, your wife and your little chulups. Are, mm, 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 mm. Your wife and your little chulups. I want a young girl there with. You have to come out, come, come tell the truth. Who want come lock me up and come? I talk my mind. Move on the blood clot to all on Go! And people, again, the Prime Minister is under attack with members of the public sharing their opinion on social media on the whole issue of the Prime Minister's wife being the head of Parliament. Now, people, the striking thing about this was that for the Prime Minister's wife to be the head of Parliament, both opposition and the current party, leading party, had to make that decision and made a vote. So, people, I don't know why I know everybody, of course, like, everybody have their own opinion, but they were all okay with it. But I guess some problems arise right now. I mean, if I was the Prime Minister and y'all brought up my husband, I would have an emotional fit too. Because their opposition, the, them the opposition, they nominated her. So nobody never did that thing say she was the Prime Minister's wife before she became the Speaker of the House. When they elected her in, no one said anything. Everybody talking about, oh, give a chance, give a chance. If it's a conflict of interest, why give a chance? Now, people, the opposition leader, Mark Golden, is now stating why he has a problem with Andrew Olness' wife, Juliet Olness, being the head of parliament. People, take a listen to this. I did not say anything offensive. I wasn't rude. I simply said that to have the head of government in the country and the head of the parliament in the speaker as spouses does not sit well with the tradition in our parliamentary democracy. And not just Jamaica, across the the world that has our system of having a speaker who is independent of the government. This is a very important matter because the speaker is the umpire. Had We had some concerns, but we decided not to take an issue with it after she was appointed. Leader of opposition business didn't object at the time and I was prepared to work with it. But having seen what has happened since with these reports not being tabled on a timely basis, integrity commission reports, some of them being sent to the oversight committee, which the government controls, which will, they may never be published in that, in, in, in that eventuality. And seeing that the opinion that they're relying on from the attorney general given to the parliament, they won't share it with the public and with us to know what, whether or not the justifications are sound in law. I just feel it's a very bad situation that has happened under her watch. And I thought I should bring it to the public's attention that this is a matter of concern. And I'm not alone. It was a speech. And people, the Prime Minister did clap back as he posted a video and the title of that video or the headline of that video, it stated that Mark Golden, a man without honor, with Tom Tavares Finson speaking. People, take a listen to this. In politics, as in life, there has to be a baseline that you do not cross, a minimum standard of ethics, respect, decency, and honor. Today, the leader of the opposition sang below that line, demonstrating that he will say and do anything to distract the public, the people of Jamaica, from the true issue at hand, which is to articulate, to lay before the people of Jamaica a clear vision supported by a definite plan for the betterment of this Jamaica land we love. Golden has repeatedly taken to personal attacks instead of advancing real and practical ways to move the country forward. Today, Mark Golding had an opportunity to tell Jamaica how he would fund public statements and proposals that he has repeatedly made about the economic future of Jamaicans. Having created this anticipation and being unable to meet the expectation of the Jamaican people, his strategy at what was almost the very end of his speech was to attack the Speaker of the House of Representatives, to attack the Speaker of the Honorable House of Representatives in the person of Juliet Holness, Member of Parliament, who was nominated unopposed and seconded by the opposition in her ascension to the role of speaker. Mark Golden has repeatedly demonstrated that he will say anything for political gain. He has flip-flopped on a number of issues when they no longer suit his political agenda and his blind pursuit for power to which he feels entitled without working for it. We saw this when his party supported what was accepted to be the vexed issue of public sector wage increases to include that of parliamentarians. And we saw it again today when his party supported Juliet Holness for the position of speaker 
only to withdraw that support when it no longer suited him. The Prime Minister has dedicated his life to the service of the Jamaican people. He has endured countless attacks on his character to which he has never really responded as he remains focused on delivering a better way of life for his country that he clearly loves so dearly. Juliet Holness joined him in politics and public service out of a sense of duty to our country and has given her heart and soul to the people of Jamaica. We are disappointed that Mark Golden would use her to score cheap political points. Today, the attack on the House Speaker demonstrates a breach of every convention in the Commonwealth, every convention in our parliamentary system that governs how the office of the Speaker is to be respected and approached by members of Parliament. And further, it does not align to the spirit of us supporting our women when they, on their own merit, rise to position of influence in the society. Jamaica deserves an opposition with some semblance of honor and whose word means something. Mark Golin has shown us today that he has neither honor or plans for this Jamaica. What well, people, I'm going to leave you with a very controversial topic where a person is stating that, you know, for all of the women them where they are Jamaica, of them man are foreign, we are take care of them wholly and solely. That means that all them do are just lay down in them bed, them have them bills pay, them can do them nails, them have them food, them are right. We don't next man on the side. Anyhow, people, <laughs> Don't follow me, people. And if all of the women them me know so we are get them treatment here, me know so we not go slap out against it still, you know. But I not try to stop nobody food. Then again, people, for the man them you know <laughs> we are send all of the money I take care of woman from foreign and you only and solely take care of that woman. You don't know what the woman out here do. I, I mean, like, you just say, woman, are your woman, and are your money, and are your business. But people, tell me what you think about that. Because you have some people, them definitely would never do that. Let me tell you this, man. No man not supposed to be a foreigner and not take care of no woman of Jamaica right through just so. Let me say that again. And I don't care if you yeah, do it. Or if Smadia do it for you, no man, no supposed to be a foreigner holistically, a take care of a woman of Jamaica. You know why? You ever hear them say the devil find work for idle hands? When you finance for your laziness right through, what you think she going to do with the whole of that the spare time the way she have for your hand? When you the 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 miles away, I mean, I understand. Brother, if you love her and you care about her and you want to keep her like that, give her something to do. If you don't want her to work for people or she don't want to work for people, put her in a little business to occupy her time. The devil find work for idle hands. <laughs>